You're listening to Sunday's episode of The Archers from BBC Radio 4. Ow! <sighs> Did I? Oh, I just stubbed me toe. Why are you out of bed? Oh, go back to sleep, love. What time is it? Oh, I'm not sure. Not even four o'clock. The jumper's on back to front. It don't matter. Why are you dressed anyway? Thought I'd just pop down and check on the ponies. What? Well, some nasty rain in the night. They've always been all right before. There's no harm taking a look. Uh, I- I'll bring you a cup of tea when I get in. I don't want you walking over my kitchen in your muddy belly. No, love. I only wash that floor after tea. Please go to sleep. Really been lying awake worrying about they ponies? Not worrying exactly. You know how it is when you get something stuck in your mind. I've been thinking about them and the hangover cure. Back to the ponies, back to the hangover cure. Oh, Jazz are falling asleep on us the other night. We're not still going on about that. We need to test the mix. Oh, love, of course you do. Night, night. Probably have to test it on myself. Don't want you getting drunk, Eddie. Not this week. All in the course of science, love. Eddie, no. We can talk later. There's nothing to talk about. I don't want you getting drunk. And not the boys, neither. You've got promise. Go back to sleep, darling. Promise me, Eddie. Eddie. All right, love, all right. I promise I'll find someone else. What time are you getting there? Seven on the dot. Don't want to find the booze is all gone. <laughs> you? I promise Freddy I'll try and get there a bit earlier. This party matters a lot to him. I think he might be worrying no one's going to turn up. Ah, uh, everyone I've talked to can't wait. Ah, oh, great. Oh, and don't forget to buy some sparklers. Got them already. Is Bella coming? No, she's working at the ball. Can I ask you something, Lily? Mm-hmm. Garage flowers. Thumbs up or thumbs down. For Bella? Well, I'm not getting them for myself. I think she'll love them. The white roses or the yellow croissants? All the roses. <laughs> Thanks. She's a lucky girl. Nah, I'm the lucky one. Can't believe I'm with her sometimes. There's nothing I want to do for her. Anyway, about Tuesday. Freddy's having a whip round for drinks and crisps, and then the two of us are going to the cash and carry. Sounds good. A tenner, okay? If we're all giving a tenner, that's going to be an awful lot of booze. Did I hear someone mention booze? Eddie, why is everyone suddenly rocking up at the petrol station? Because I need petrol, mate. Uh, what's all this about booze? Uh, Freddie's having a party Tuesday night. Oh, great. <laughs> Sorry, Eddie, but I think he might be a bit uh, mature. Yeah, I'm not after an invitation. <laughs> Sorry I took so long, Lily. The bloke in the kiosk wouldn't stop going on about England losing the rugby. Not a problem. Right, see you then, Johnny. Yeah, bye. Bye, Ross. Bye. So, uh, at this party of Freddy's, uh, there's going to be some heavy drinking. I think that might be a possibility. Oh, interesting. Hello, Emma. Hello, 
Emma. Chloe, how are you? You all right? Yeah. I was just curious new things, pineapple rings. It was pears when she was little. Yeah. In syrup. Not juice. Yeah. <laughs> and then she went on to peaches. Yeah, <laughs> juice, not syrup. Could never work out why she changed. That'd be Joe. What? He told her that fruit in syrup puts hairs on your chest. <laughs> it didn't. He heard you one night worrying about all the sweeties and sugar she was eating and he took it on himself to do something about it. But he used to like his fruit in syrup. Yeah. That's why he showed her the hairs on his chest. <laughs> Oh, I'm missing him, Clary. <laughs> Me too. Anyway. <clears throat> yeah. Anyway. So, uh, pineapple. But no, I can only say chunks. I think I might have some rings at home. You're welcome if you want them. Clary. Come round later and I'll see what I can do. Bring Kira with you, perhaps. Yeah, she'd like that. And maybe you and me could have a chat about the wake, sandwich fillings and all that. But can I ask how much is this all going to cost us? No, everything's paid for, Clary. It's all covered by the one for Joe thing at the ball. I can't believe how generous people are being. I was only saying to Eddie this morning. How is Eddie doing? Oh, he's obsessed with this potion him and Edward are cooking up. Potion? Well, they reckon before he passed, Joe come up with a foolproof cure for hangovers. So what's in it? Oh, bit of this, Johnny, bit of that. Specifically? If I told you that, mate, I'd have to kill you. Uh, I'm not sure, Eddie. Oh, come on. How do I know it isn't poisonous? I'll give you my word. Uh, maybe I'll be allergic. Well, it's 100% organic. What? It's magic stuff. You get to drink all the booze you like, a glug of this before you fall asleep, and you'll wake up bright and early next morning with a head as clear as a mountain dawn. I have been thinking I'm going to manage to get up the next day for the cows. There you are then! What you got to lose? Well, nothing, I don't suppose. You get your mates at the party to give it a go along with you. You'll be doing them a favour. I mean, who likes a hangover? <laughs> True. Have you tried it yourself? Oh, there's nothing I'd like more, son. Only with me dad passing and this being the week we're saying goodbye to him. Yeah, of course, I, I understand. So, what do you say? Yeah, OK, go on, I'll do it. Ah, that's brilliant. And your mates? Happy to ask them. You're a gentleman, Johnny. You're making an old man very happy. You're not that old. <laughs> I'm talking about me dad. He'll be up there cheering you along. It shouldn't take us very long. OK. It will make all the difference, though. Make the exhibits look better. Help them to sell. Sure. So we'll get started after lunch then. On what? Have you been listening? Sorry, sorry. I've been talking about us repainting the gallery. Yes, this afternoon, okay. Is there something wrong? Uh, do you need to pick up some paint or have we got enough? Talk to me, Lily. What about? Whatever it is that's on your mind. It's just something Johnny said. Yes? Has he upset you, Lily? You were fine before we stopped. No! He hasn't upset me. Not 
not him. What did he say? I'd best get inside and help Mum with the lunch. What did Johnny say? He said... There's nothing he wouldn't do for Bella. Sorry about that, love. No worries. Only half asked if I'd make a Victoria sandwich. Oh, I remember how much he likes your cakes. I think it's cakes he likes full stop. And meat, and taters, and pasta, and rice. Food that man can put away. Thank goodness he's down in the pub again this afternoon. He's eating us out of our salon. Oh, sorry. Didn't ought to go on like that. Poor chap's lost his father. Least I could do is feed him. Is he staying long? Well, till the funeral, of course. After that, he ain't saying, and I don't like to ask. He's moved his stuff into Joe's room, and he's forever telling me how much he likes it in there. You think he wants to stay with you, like, forever? I have no idea what goes on in Alf Zegler. <sighs> but once we move to the green, there won't be space for him anyway. Anyway. Those sandwich fillings of yours all sound lovely. Right, and, uh, and we thought a selection of muffins. Joe was always partial to a blueberry muffin. Blueberry. Yeah, I'll tell Fallon. Thank you, Emma. And uh, there was something else. Um, oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, Joe used to love steak and kidney pud. He'd have eaten nothing else if I'd let him. Yeah. Uh, so Fallon was thinking maybe some plates of mini ones, like bite size. Oh. Well, if you don't like the idea, we won't do it. Don't be very touched. And so am I. Hurry along, I'm looking for a... Oh! Hello, Emma. I didn't know you was here. She's come to pick up a tin of pineapple rings for Kira. Oh, right you are. Uh, I'm looking for our Edward. He's taken Poppy and Kira to look at the sheep. Uh, how long is he going to be? I don't know, do I? I? I asked him to have her back by quarter past. We were uh, going to Chris and Alice's for tea. That sounds nice. Yeah. Jennifer and Brian are going to be there as well. Mum's bought a new dress. Oh, lovely. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't laugh, sorry. Uh, oh, you need to talk to him about the recipe. You're never going outside without your coat. Yeah, I won't be long, just popping down the field. Eddie, hey, you'll catch Look, it. If Alf asks, you don't know where I am. I can even go out on. Really, that man... Once he's got an idea in his head, he can be worse than a kid. Is this the magic potion you was telling me about? Yes. So why doesn't he want Alf to know where he is? Because he thinks if Alf knows, he'll want in on the action. And in Eddie's opinion, this secret recipe is going to make us rich. You don't believe that. That's just another of his schemes, love. Still, it's keeping him occupied. And maybe that's not such a bad thing. Sometimes it don't do to think too hard. Lily? Lily? What? You've been over that bit of wall three times. Have I? You could move on to the corner. 
Actually, Ross, the smell's giving me a headache. Perhaps I'd better go and lie down. Are you sure it's just the smell of the paint? I'll feel better, perhaps, if I have a sleep. Lily, you're being weird. Thanks. So Johnny said he'd do anything for his girlfriend. What's the big deal? It's a nice thing for him to say, though, don't you think? It's a cliché, Lily. Not if he means it. I don't understand why it's getting to you. Why do you think it's getting to you? I honestly have no idea. He would do anything for her. Yes, it's really nice, and I'd do anything for you. Would you? Yes. Anything? Yes. Anything except divorce your wife? Right. Okay. You're living with me, but you're married to someone else. It doesn't mean anything. It does to me. How long have I been asking you to sort out the divorce? I've told you already. It's complicated. complicated. Yeah, I know. You keep saying that. But why is it complicated? It's complicated because... Is it because you've still got feelings for her? No. No! I mean, I'm fond of her still in a, a, a sort of residual pity sort of way. Lara's not a well woman. Uh, and so you're prioritising her feelings over mine? No! Well, it's looking that way to me. I need to get on with this painting. Every time... Every time I try to talk about it, you wriggle away or change the subject. It's a delicate situation. Laura's... She's vulnerable and fragile and unpredictable. I don't want to destabilise her. Have you even talked to her about the divorce? I have to judge things carefully. I... I don't want her messing things up for us. How could she do that? Please, Lily. I, I know what she's like and I know what I'm doing. I will talk to her, I promise. When the time is right. And when do you think that's going to be? I need you to trust me, Lily. Please? Please? 